what's going on? How you guys doing? Ah. Good. Uh, I'm going to tell you a story. People, believe it or not, I tend to get depressed uh, once in a while. And when I get depressed, I eat uh, KFC or PFK, whatever the fuck you guys call it up here. Uh, you know what I mean, though, the chicken place. Uh, <laughs> I eat KFC when I get depressed, and I eat the family picnic bucket, which in the States is 10 pieces of all dark meat chicken, two large sides, four biscuits. Holy shit. How much is that bucket of miracles? A thousand dollars? No. Fifteen ninety-nine. I'll be right over. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm feeling down one day. I go to KFC. I walk in. I go, yeah, I'll take the family picnic bucket. The guy immediately gives me a look that says, you don't have a girlfriend, do you? I say, uh, for my two large sides, I want mashed potatoes and coleslaw. And you know what? Keep the biscuits. I don't eat them. And he says, you want an extra large side? That's what he said. And I said, don't fuck with me right now, man. I'm in a dark place. Don't say it if you don't mean it. He's like, no, I mean it. You got to get something for that biscuit money, which that sounds like something a pimp would say. So I'm like, another large side? This is getting ridiculous. Give me the green beans. Let's bring some health into the equation, which is pointless, because the green beans at KFC are just green straws and water. There's no nutritional value. Then he goes, you want original recipe or extra crispy? I say, mix it up. I want to be surprised every time I reach into that bucket. He goes, coming right up. He walks away, he comes back, he goes, dude, dude, I'm out of extra crispy. I got to make some more. Do you mind waiting 10 minutes? And I'm like, no problem. Mistake. Mistake for a number of reasons. The first of which is you never want time to wait at KFC. You don't ever want time to contemplate what it is you're about to do to your body in that place. KFC should have a revolving door at the front of it, and as you're spinning in, they should just shoot the chicken into your mouth and spit you back outside again. And you're dizzy, like, what the fuck just happened? It, it tastes like chicken in my mouth. So sitting there, he comes back out, he goes, buddy, I'm sorry again about the weight. Have a free soda. What's this guy trying to kill me right now? Why does he keep giving me stuff? I'm drinking the soda, I'm waiting. Finally, he's like, buddy, you're up, your order's done. So I do the bag check. I just stand there, I watch him load it. I'm like, chicken, boom, coleslaw, boom, potatoes, boom, gravy, boom, green beans, boom. Then he goes, buddy, buddy, we're gonna give you some free french fries. Sorry again about the weight. Stop it! <laughs> then, then I see him put the box of biscuits into the bag. He gave me the biscuits and the biscuit money. I'm like, God damn it, I don't want those biscuits. I told him I don't want those biscuits. The french fries, I'll let that slide. All right, that's fine, right, whatever. I'm gonna make a big deal. So I finally get home, sweatpants go on. I put the food out all over the living room table like a buffet. I just start getting down. Like chicken, blah, coleslaw, potatoes, french fries, taking those, dipping them into the mashed potatoes. What do you know about that? It's called a speedball. Green beans, get the fuck out of here. What was I thinking? Idiot. Mac and cheese, idiot. So I put like a little dent in this stuff, a little dent, but I can't keep going. I got too much food, I'm too full though, I gotta stop. I'm full like, like, like full like that. <laughs> on the couch. And as, as my eyes are about to roll back into my skull, I have a thought. I think I will have a biscuit. Uh, I'll put some jelly on it. It'll be like dessert. I lean forward. I pick up the unopened box of biscuits and immediately think, this, this feels heavier than biscuits. I open the box. More chicken! The guy slipped five extra pieces of chicken into my bag. 
of a mixed variety, just the way I like it, and he didn't even tell me about it. That's how sorry the KFC guy felt for me. He thought I was going to kill myself when I got home. Suddenly it all made sense. It was like the end of the usual suspects. All the pieces were coming together. Free green beans, free french fries, free soda, extra chicken. This guy thought I was going to blow my brains out to the point where he quietly flirted with me to brighten up my day, to put a little flirtatious smile on my face. It was like the KFC guy's version of taking a picture of his vag and texting it to me during a tough day on the job. Right now. Come on, baby, it ain't so bad. I know what you like, extra crispy. I gotta go. Thanks for listening. Take care. Thanks for